Uh, hello, my name is uh, Matthew Murray. And uh, oddly enough, I think, uh, Mr. Representative Johnson, you and I have a couple things in common. Um, first, we both work for the taxpayers. He works for the federal government. I work in the public schools. Um, also, Tim Johnson opposes rationing health care uh, coverage. And I want to agree with him on that. And my understanding of rationing is some people get a lot and some people don't get very much. So it got me thinking when he said he wanted to tweak the system to look and see. Um, so I did a little research. And uh, what, I, what I found was, first, I just looked at the uh, average income for teachers in the Urbana School District. And if you, you can go online and look at this. It's about $45,000 a year. And that's the average, of course. That means a starting teacher probably comes in somewhere in the more like 35 range. Now, under my employee plan, my family coverage through Health Alliance, which you also have the option to buy as a federal employee, um, for 2008-2009, this is the year that's just ending, was $725 a month, which comes out to $8,700 a year, which I thought was a lot. Um, and it is. But this year, the cost is going up by 20%. My, mo my monthly premium will now be $871 a month. That's to cover myself, my spouse, and my two sons. And that comes out to $10,452 a year. And it's for some pretty crappy coverage, just to be honest. <laughs> that's, that's for the 2080 plan, which a lot of you probably are familiar with. Uh, our office visits went up from 20 to 25 for our primary and from 20 to 40 for specialty office visits. So any referral that we get outside of our prim primary coverage will cost that. Um, now this also means, uh, Representative Johnson, that an average teacher pays 23% of their salary for health insurance coverage if they decide on this kind of plan. And it's, it's the only family plan offered. Okay, what would Representative Johnson, what would you pay for the similar insurance? Well, I went on the website for federal employee benefits, and I, and I did some research, and he has the option of op opting into Health Alliance coverage, which I, I think that's good. I think all, all public servants should have that option. He would pay for family coverage, exactly what I get, and his benefits are just slightly better, but about the same plan, $236 a month. Wow. That's now, that would be $2,832 a year out of his pocket, which I, I realize that's a sacrifice out of your pocket. <laughs> because his salary for all congressmen in the House this past year was $174,000 a year. Oh, now, that means his contribution is 1.6% of his salary. Now, remember, teachers, 23% of their salary. Okay? And, and keep in mind that we taxpayers... For the teachers, you're kicking in about 400 a month for that family plan. For the congressman, we taxpayers kick in $708 a month for his health alliance plan. Now, um, his, his premium's going up this year. My, mine went up $146 a month. And, and Representative Johnson, I'm really sorry, yours is going up $7 a month. <laughs> and I, I know that, that, that hits the pocketbook, which is, which is hard. Um, and so I really want to invite you to, to stick by what you said, no rationing, and I want myself and all people who are working full-time jobs to have the exact same benefits that you enjoy on our, our ticket. So thank you.